Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to see whether the Against the Hive campaign is going to end successfully or if it is going to crash and burn on the last, yeah, last room in Waterworld. We have done exceptionally well in the first half of this dungeon and are now ready to go and potentially end this. But before we're moving up, let's carefully assess our options, shall we? Already there. Good. Those of us who need to stand in high ground shall go over there. Advent troops here. Um, those of us who do not can actually start engaging normally. We do not have the ghost. We've already used that. That's the only cooldown we used. And we're going to pick our combat location on the left bottom side. My go-to position. Alright, this is going to trigger. Oh yeah, weapon hot directly onto the avatar, great. Avatar decides to re-jump. Yeah, we're not dual striking yet, but we're shredding this guy. <laughs> That's a great reaction. Sometimes uh, the game is actually comedy gold. Avatar is still explaining why we are uh, in the wrong and then our our guy just says yeah whatever you say I wonder hmm shield bearer could be good for mind control Hmm. Nah, we're going to do mind control next turn. Onto bigger target. First grenade. Down to seventeen. Okay, I see how it is. Horus moves over and I think we're going to do the dual strike. I reconsidered. Come on, focus. There we go. Uh, not quite a Killing him. Moves up. Look, we could have the easy one here. 
the dimensional rift, but I think I want to keep the dimensional rift. And instead kill the avatar. Good, one down, thousands to go. I know you've never heard that one. There we go, moves up. Reaching maneuver over here. Hawkbite begins to move in. Okay. Good, so that will reset. Thank you. you know, that was good. No, it won't because we have not braced our weapon. Well, never mind. Ooh, a boa would be a fantastic option for mind control. Getting that slick, slick uh, mm, crowd control. Oh yeah, that would be good. I would love to get myself a boa. Yeah, that was not very clever, Mr. Elite Assault. Nice. Alright, yeah, I like it. Listen. That's well, not bad at all. The clones suck, but the rest isn't too bad. Good, so that's another solid kill onto almost all of them. Well, you know, we could get that elite assault, but I like my boar. Matter of fact, I like it a lot. Spectre. How many is that now? Me some ammo. More like not so Spectre anymore. Racing into kill in a reset. Into Codex. Well, how about that? Yeah, not bad.
Good, I don't like the fact that he's out of a ammo. I'm quite literally using teamwork to let him reload. Good. Uh, <laughs> Do we want to move up for the second avatar? That's a good question. Talon rounds hurt. And we got another breaching maneuver. Yeah, I think we we can just position ourselves here. Hogbite gets to parry. And when they are coming, I would love to use a grenade, so Nemri actually repositions herself. Commander's avatar can overwatch. Oh! <laughs> Talking about pack sizes. Talking about pack sizes, holy. Mutants are coming in from the side. Good, and Weapon Hot is triggering again. I like it. See? That one action... Really paid dividends. Oh, Archon Valkyrie. Well, listen. Uh, how do I go about that? I'm just trying to figure out where I would be able to see that Valkyrie. No, 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 absolutely no, and yes, there we go. That's the type of mind control you'd like to see. Why is there no target for life drain attacks available? Excuse me. Rapid deployment into Where is that stupid avatar? Oh, 
Okay, let's start with something very simple. So this should hit the avatar. where it is but we're going to figure that out in a second <clears throat> I could have sworn that there is an avatar somewhere here He st is standing all the way up. Okay, whatever. Good. Free crowd control. Before we go there, let's make sure we do um, have everything in good order. Full cover here for Taurus. Getting that mutant down. Easy. That's a triplet. We do have a lot, a lot of focus and actions. Good avatar. It's going to be amplified. All right, now the heavy mech still needs to die downstairs. Purifier would take eight points of damage. How much is Hotbites hit? Five to six at the moment. Kill moves up. Uh, that would not bring the mech into kill territory, but we definitely need to kill the mech. So there is. Well, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, 
I know how to play that. Make down. Let's get that heavy mech down as well. Good, that plus the sniper will kill the Viper. Big fat explosion up here would be helpful. Good, that's a free grenade. I'm not sure, is the purifier immune to it? Apparently he is. Hogby doesn't take grenade damage because he's immune to explosions. Five points of damage is enough to kill this guy here, the elite striker. We're still at five points of damage. Enough to kill the trooper. Could go to the purifier here. Yeah, that that guy would die as well, thanks to Blade Storm. And it's not using its stupid grenades. All right, end of turn. More enemies. At this point, we're being overrun. A 
Yeah, we can take a couple of shots. The mutants aren't dealing that much damage, luckily. The boar, on the, uh, the boar, on the other hand, is a different beast, figuratively and literally. Nice. Avatar just hits himself for 11. Assault. Doesn't like Hogbite. Hogbite is taking some damage now. But we're going to be fine. Hopefully. Famous last words. Ugh. But Hogbite will need to deal with these guys. Okay, for starters, we need to deal with the Avatar. Okay, before we're going to attack him, Oh wait, we could get another mutant. Yep. Let's clean up this side here. That is into reset. Well, how about that? And let's continue to harass the avatar. to be caught. Thank you, but no thank you. Um, what's a good position? Can we clean up all of these guys? I don't know, unlikely. Good run and gun. Last shot for us. That's a crit would be good. Shotgun to the face. Never ceases to amaze. Oh, almost Overwatch killed him. Almost Overwatch killed him. Okay, cool. Well, so far that's actually not too bad. Second one down. Fantastic. Absolutely great. Okay, cool.
Perfect timing for Iconic Storm. Which should give us all of our lost focus back. Also, it nicely positions us in a way. Where it's very easy to blade storm. Emergency 8 into healing the hog bite. It's basically for free. And then we're going to do a cheeky maneuver, which is move over here. And then we are stunning this guy. <laughs> That means everybody else needs to go uh, by a hog bite. Oh boy. Sometimes I amuse myself um, over those little things. Yeah, the boys. The big nasty enemy here. Maybe we're mimic beaconing. Okay, so you're telling me the Valkyrie can't move. I'll tell you what, I'm just trying to see if we can move, if this unstucks it. No, it does not. And I will simply move as in put myself in a double move. This is how far the Valkyrie could have moved, not attacking. So I'm already worse off than the original, uh, than if I would have uh, played normally. Ah, oh, that assault. But on the other hand, the boa is a big problem as well. Let's aim for the boa. I know I will regret it elsewise. Armor still I could have used the mimic beacon, my bad. Never mind. Never mind. I don't want to be pulled in with the avatar. Because that would also break our mind control and we don't want to let that happen. This position here would motivate the Elite Assault to go into melee, which I know I can parry. There's the last Avatar. He's charging in. Interesting. Uh, 
They're going for the Valkyrie. Okay, we need to deal with the Spectre. Stupid Shadowbound. <laughs> Last avatar. Just need to be able to dish out enough damage. That's all. So far we're doing reasonably well actually. Better than I would have anticipated. Okay, well, he doesn't have he doesn't use his stand baton. Ouch. Yeah, go for Hawkbud. I need is the avatar and that should keep us plenty safe good this here worked like a charm Fortunately, for whatever reason, the Hive now decides to come in. And there is the perfect trap. More vipers, okay. Huh. This is not going to go well. Okay, well, apparently we can move quite far. Avatar is all the way back there. Can we hit the Avatar? No, we cannot. Let's deal with the Spectre first. <sighs> Spectre really forcing us to go all the way down? Apparently so. to three hit points. Okay, I'll go. Good, we need to get memory back. I definitely got that one. 
There we go. Hmm. Can't really get to the avatar. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, we no. No. I want to hit the avatar. I think we won't be able to get it. Do we have Reaper? Likely not because we already used it. Now yeah, we're pretty much stuck on our side here. Fast lightning hands, three. And to hopefully kill. Nope, minimum damage twice. Moving to that elite assault. Whom we hit so hard that we literally stunned it. Commander Avatar moves up. Let's kill the boar because. That's one of the most dangerous foes. Fortunately, it didn't work out. This guy is not a threat at all. All right, shot one. Chrysalid goes down. Resets into Boa, and hopefully deals enough damage to kill uh, to kill it. Falls short by one. could kill it. I think it's not a bad uh, choice. Getting an extra shot. We need to play very efficient with our action economy here. Boa needs to die. This will trigger a whole, lot, a whole host of things. For starters, uh, breakthrough, relentlessness. Also untouchable. Ignore the vipers. Quite literally ignore most of them.
Memory has a decent position there. Can kill this guy. That means we finally, with Hogbite, Um, I mean, if I'm just moving here, the blade star will kill the mutant. Now we're going to do that. It's a safe and secure me a method of doing that. End of turn. More enemies are coming in. Now Big Fat Sectopod comes in. Oh yeah, nice. Nice. Okay, let's hope that the Valkyrie will manage to just um, overall tank. Blade Storm does not trigger the retaliation, so the mutant was dead. Unless he hunkered down, of course. Oh boy, we're definitely going to be overrun. So let's hope, sincerely hope, that uh, the avatar is going to move somewhat into our direction. Only somewhat. Okay, all the avatar needs to do, stay alive. We're going to be overrun in that case. Why did I need to mind control the only character that cannot normally move? It's stupid. Well, I gotta deal with the situation. Can't complain. Gotta do what you gotta do. The main question is, can I reach <coughs> a point where we can see that avatar? Really? So stupid.
so far away. I don't know. You can't really reach it. That is the problem. It's not going to take any uh, very long until we're being overrun. I'm searching for the play, but I can't find it. This is super far away. One thing that I could think of is effectively rushing over and taking the avatar position here. We would move the Archon, uh, the Valkyrie up here. That's two moves and that's all she gets. Unfortunately, no attack. Taurus moves up. Bad, we could kill the Archon, I suppose. Missed the assault, unfortunate. Paris here. I think I want to keep the dimensional rift. It's not that great if you need to use it immediately. Let's try to get the Archon. Nice. Move a little bit further back. The whole idea here is to make sure that we're having a solid position. Good, we're going to move up to high ground next turn. Kuga, full cover, and uh, I think we're just going to overwatch. overwatch. I don't 
killed him good well that is that fortunately can't uh, get the avatar super disappointing Some solid overwatch right there. Lots of Archons. Oh shit. if they uh, try to suppress the Valkyrie they try to suppress the Valkyrie they will no longer focus on it and that's an actual issue we need them to really 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 focus on the Valkyrie than anticipated I can't believe this guy is still holding out there I also cannot believe that the only character that we could control with mind control is the one that just doesn't function. It's still alive, it's a ultra good tank, but imagine how cool the whole thing would be if I could actually attack hmm? and regain life by life leeching. That would be so absolutely cool. Can we finally move? No, we can still not move. Good, we're going to go there. Oh, big surprise. The avatar has hidden in the last corner of the map. That's stupid. going to survive this round if I can't find a way to get to that uh, to that avatar
Fun fact that stupid Valkyrie is gone next turn. I don't know. How far does the null lines uh, reach to here? I think it's barely not enough. We could withstand this here for one more round. Ish. But the question is, will that avatar actually come over? This is a pretty dire situation. I need to slowly move over to the avatar and at least hit it once. Where is there anyone? Oh, wrong planet. Yeah, my bad. Good. We're using our avatar to move forward. Sucks, but at least now then I will be able to reach him with that next turn. So it's a bit of a strange situation to be in to not be able to actually reach the avatar for three turns and then be completely completely overrun all right that's it Fantastic Dimensional Rift. Now we're standing in the open here. What, what's over there? Adrenaline Rush into healing on Zukuger. We don't have any free reload, but armed intervention would absolutely be a godsend uh, thing. Heavy mech into full suppression. Good, nicely shredded. Uh, any bombs to go off so goes without saying that um, goes without saying that we're going to take the codices uh, out okay before we do anything else this is mimic beacon play
memory. It's pretty much cornered. I don't like the position at all. Not enough damage. Can't let that spectre live. So that will trigger untouchable. Good, we can parry his melee attack. I'm trying to use all of the uh, tricks. My bag of tricks is almost empty. This is complete desperation mode here. We stand in there. No, that would be not nine damage. We're rather parrying. And here's a mimic beacon. Stupid Valkyrie. Yeah, well, whatever. fighting against an entire army here at least it makes for a great ending of the campaign if I lose this still good uh, but I'm going to try to do whatever it takes in order to get down that last avatar that cheeky bastard is just hiding out like a little bitch There's the parry. Nice, very good. We're still standing.
Perry. No, that's untouchable. Then the next one will be Perry. I mean, look, it is respectable, but despite all of the things that are just happening, we're still fighting. Ah, oh, nice. Very good. Granted, it's not looking good, but we're still fighting. This will trigger a lot of overwatches. Oh, where is that guy? Please, don't tell me that he's not here. Moving up all the way. Where is that guy? Good Reaper mode. Like I said, desperation. In the hopes of actually finding the avatar. Hogbite is charging in. Takes a lot of overwood shots. And resets. Nice. Alright. Tell you what, we're not going to play around. The avatar needs to die now, this round. It's pretty much all or nothing. Let's go. Oh, good position. Do we have Shredder? Yeah, we do. Good enough, let's hit it with 94, come on. Oh yeah, very good. I can slowly but surely start seeing this going the right direction. Into the open, really doesn't matter at this point. Need to shred him. Come on. Nice. He dodged, but opportunist gets him back. Upward position over there. Completely empty. 
can't see him there. Okay. Five to eight, good enough. Hawk bite. Uh, come on, this can't be true. This here is a position where we can see him. Maximizing our chances to hit it. Come on. Nice. We're still in it. In it to win it. Bring it down. No, too short. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to do armed intervention. This might be it. Unless we're ultra lucky. Sucks, by the way, that uh, the armed intervention doesn't really seem to work. Fun fact about that whole thing, a little bit different that damage roll and uh, damage rolls and we would have potentially made it. Yeah, we're immune. Nice try. Let's see if Hogbite can just hold the position long enough. People will go down. It's just a matter of how many. Hogbot is not known to take shit from anyone. So let's see if that changes. Funnily enough, mind control amongst all of the things that he could have done is the least problematic, uh, specifically since she is immune to it. Hopwhite is likely not going to survive this here. <laughs> but he's, he's putting up a good show. Oh yeah. Take that sector port. Red cannon, please. Red cannon. Nah, not a second time. Oh, you missed. Good. Three shots? What the is going on? Did I patch those? Could be a thing of ABA.
Oh, fight is still standing. Oh yeah, he's immune to that. Okay, it's hilarious. I, I will admit, it is actually incredibly hilarious. Elite Lancer, that's a parry. No, that's first untouchable. Cool. Hogbert is still standing. Unbelievable. Micro missiles. Oh, okay, well. Yeah. Return fire. Take that. Please, no stasis. Yeah, Holy Warriors, fine. Mind control would be fine as well. Are we going to do this? No way. I was about to call it GG's, but Hogbert is tanking it. Micro missiles. Oh no, a crit! Ugh. Anticlimactic. Well, Eric. You have certainly held up 50 enemies. And I'm not even exaggerating here. That was a massive, massive contribution. Six to eight. Okay, well, I think our shotgun is better. Five to seven, but crit chance, come on. Yeah, there we go, baby. Okay, okay. Well, that was a final room. If there was ever a final room, holy moly. Oh, it's potentially 200 enemies uh, there. Crazy, unbelievable. Uh, a bit bug ridden. We would have uh, more easily won if I could have actually controlled, mind controlled uh, the uh, um, the Valkyrie. And I'm not sure if I even did myself a favor by moving it so far in because it would it seemed to be more uh, or less untouchable due to high um, defense stats and they were just suppressing it really. Um, and once they have suppressed it, nothing happened. Uh, plus, it motivated uh, the avatar to simply stay there, and it extended kind of our vision range. But, wow, what a final fight. Uh, Hogbite, parrying, reflecting, so many attacks, um, and then eventually at the very, very, very end, uh, uh, going down by a very anticlimactic uh, um, 11 crit. But the rest was good, damn it. Um, then... Um, our our stunt I think we fought seven rounds wait a second so yeah it must be seven it must be seven rounds because um, five rounds cooldown on Reaper and that came back up so we definitely fought a long time um, and actually killed quite a few and uh, quite a few enemies so what's my thought process around the campaign overall it was definitely against the hive. A couple of things worked very well. I like the whole um, scenario with us uh, um, uh, needing to fight an uphill battle, ballistic weapons, no armor upgrades. That really was good. I, I, oh 
whoa, 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 we don't want uh, sound. I really like that part. I also like the part of the proficiency classes. Uh, they are well done. I can highly recommend it to you. The new maps were absolute fire. I enjoyed playing them. The campaign overall for a very long time uh, felt like unwinnable. Just the whole uphill battle with um, the Avatar project, not being able to win uh, missions. And then eventually, uh, again, focusing on one core main team that is able to go through uh, the, the whole missions. We had super hard uh, Golden Path missions, which uh, I personally enjoyed a lot. So that was good. So all of these were the good ones. Um, what's the uh, room for improvement? Well, for starters, I think that uh, the scaling that I've chosen with triple enemy uh, port size really was a little bit too much. Uh, I think I could have gotten uh, the whole message across with potentially just a tiny increase of enemy size. Uh, that combined with the spawning mechanic wasn't uh, working so well. Uh, for Secondly, what wasn't working so well is specifically the Golden Path revamp missions. I will need to see how uh, we deal with that in the future. Uh, I like it that new enemies are on the Golden Path missions, but they become incredibly buggy. It, I needed to sometimes restart, replay parts of it, and this is just not enjoyable uh, for me. And quite frankly, it's also not enjoyable to not have a one take and just play uh, play the mission. The uh, final thought about improvement potential is I potentially should have used uh, the proficiency classes rework for the um, hero classes. Didn't know at the time that that was available and coincidentally isn't really in the pack uh, of the original mod. So that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, I suppose uh, chance missed, but um, maybe in a, in a future run. So the next run is already um, up and going. Uh, potentially, if you have um, listened to channel updates, then yeah, uh, you know it by now. Uh, Tapcat and I will be doing a two against uh, the Overlords campaign, which also uses proficiency classes because he's interested in testing them out. But it will have more of a psionic flair to it, a lot more psionic uh, battles and that really uh, will be fun it's a complete different setup very different mods of course we're uh, going to go through the mods and how they are working in that campaign but that's already the next campaign uh, that i'm currently recording so that's a bit of a different approach typically i ask you guys uh, what do you want to see oh wow I just came back into the game and uh, the, that was a massive sound. Anyways, so typically I ask you guys what you want to see and um, you're uh, then able to just vote on it. This one time, I think we're just going with a good old Tapcat campaign. Let's take a look at uh, Legend Iron uh, Men and what we have done. So missions 144 out of 58. Uh, that is pretty bad. Uh, if you do have 14 lost missions, that means... Uh, it it has gone badly flawless missions only nine <laughs> a massive amount of aliens killed 50 soldiers lost i promised you a meat grinder campaign and i think it has delivered 50 is a lot a, a very lot and yeah chosen killed great took us longer than normal um kills by faction heroes this is all hogbite or nearly all hogbite uh, number of level 3 soldiers, that's good. Um, pretty deep roster. Longer than normal for first kernel, but that's normal. It's legendary um, because this here is not only legendary. So the stats are skewed. Days wounded, yeah, I can very much relate to that. Our map bay was full. Lots of promotions earned. Number of kernels lower than normal. No psionics, no magi. Hack rewards earned, that's fine. Number of scientists lower, number of en engineers lower, and we haven't gotten any upgrade on weapons, so that's an interesting stat. Radio relays, yeah, we're pretty much on average here, but since the game took longer, we got more resources. 
So that is that guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed uh, the ride and if you enjoyed uh, the against the hive campaign uh, My request to you my kind request would be tell someone about it uh, It doesn't need to be right away, but it could be a friend It could be the next time that someone in a gaming forum says something it could be quite literally in a uh, multiplayer game where you're talking about your favorite streamers, whatever um, if you want to do me a favor for the um, 60 odd or 70 odd, no, it's potentially 100 um, odd hours of entertainment. Make sure to spread the good word and see you in the next campaign. Thank you for watching and goodbye.